Okay, hello dear friends. So I am in the middle of uh, math homework, uh, geometric sequence, uh, arithmetic sequence, and I want to focus myself and uh, put myself in the right spirit to uh, in a focus mood. So choose some tea. One friend asked, "What tea do you drink?" There is really not. A, about the tea, the the kind when you pay attention and respect it, anything can be good. And these are the hotel teas. So you travel, you go to a hotel every day. They give you two two little tea packs, and、uh, I keep those teas because.、Um, Because I appreciate it, <laughs> and、uh, I appreciate、uh, their kindness, and I keep those teas. So here are some of those collections. They may not be the most expensive teas and most fancy teas, but、um, you can still、um, you can very well enjoy them. I have more kinds. Here are some kinds that are tea tea. These are tea. These are tisane. So today maybe we will go with this la tis la tisanière la tisanière dot com la tisanière. I think I have seen this. It must be not a very expensive tea. All these are not expensive tea. Out house. This might be from、uh, from Germany, from uh, from uh, yeah. We we travel to Europe,、uh, a few countries, and pass by some、uh, pass by uh, 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 Germany. A tea with carrot, chamomile, meadow, herbal infusion, and this one flavored herbal infusion, rhubarb. Rui bush, strawberry cream. This might be too creamy. Chamomile, lugam, le magique, le magique. Fleur de chamomile. These are the same. Tisanière, tisanière. Okay, today we will choose this. Out house, tall house. Is that out house? I don't know the meaning. Okay, we will do this one. Rubus, chamomile, any, many, many more. There's no、uh, caffeine. It should be good. Rubus, strawberry cream. Just smell it to begin with. And、uh, although I need to concentration, need something to boost up my my energy, but this is uh, this is.、Uh, The dead of night. It's、uh, the middle of the night. I better not to get too to tonic. Hmm. It smells a little bit strawberry, a little bit、uh, acidity. The fruit, acidity from the food, fruit, fruit, and a little bit from chamomile. Wonderful. We will try it.、Mm -hmm. Try it.、Mm -hmm. Try it.、Mm -hmm. Our water is boiling. Put hot water. Oh. 
That's a beautiful, beautiful color. Don't you agree? It's a beautiful color. And, um, you know, from time to time, I get, uh, I get these, uh, these new cups. And uh, I always treasure it, treasure it, cherish it. I cherish it and I pay so much attention that I do not even dare to use it. And at the end, it is the biggest waste of all these good things. Good thing you have, you do not use, then it is no use. So today I decide I deserve to try it. Look at it, it's so beautiful. Look at the shades and everything. So I will wash it and use it today. Now I'm going to wash it. So I washed it and dry it. And at the same time, I boiled some water to fill in this cup okay it's a pity it does not show the real color but uh, we have this glass uh, this uh, uh, Glass tea teapot. Look at it. And I washed with my bare hand without wearing gloves. And it's a, it's a very, very beautiful touch. It's a little bit matte, but, uh, but not totally rough. And you feel, ah, uh, you feel so good. That touch is is uh, is unbelievable. It's unspeakable. That comfortness. You feel something so smooth and not uh, uh, and not slippery, not gleasing. Oh, it's a beautiful. It's a wonderful, wonderful tea. Oh, it's so good. A little bit uh, acid. What a beautiful teacup. It's uh, a little bit uh, acidic. Acidic. It's a little bit sour from the fruit and from rhubarb itself. And um, it's um, refreshing. And uh, it's uh, it's very very aromatic, very aromatic, uh, uh, aromatic, 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 aromatic because of its um, its strawberry. Strawberry is very aromatic, aromatic. It smells very very. It smells um, not st strawberry jam. Strawberry jam, because there is a lot of uh, strawberry, it's already overtaken the, the strawberry flavor and it's, uh, it lost its very, um, very um, stringent. It lost its uh, its strength, but this one is like strawberry, uh, dried strawberry. That uh, oh, beautiful! And this little curve helps to get. It's uh, still a bit too hot. It's a very good, uh, good uh, um, ergonomic 
design, ergonomic design, ergonomic, because your lip and there is just this little bit of curving to get the drink, to get the liquid out. It's beautiful. And very comfortable. You can equally use any other part of it. And it's a very subtle um, curve in for you to drink. Okay, beautiful. Yes. All these for our math homework. So we will go on with our math homework. Gosh. And uh, just imagine you drink this beautiful tea, this aromatic tea. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I just read one comment and I will try to avoid using beautiful. I may, maybe <laughs> I should read it. And, um, and the comment said, uh, idiot uh, explainer. And uh, you can only say beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> and it is true. <laughs> I must reduce the use of beautiful and add some other words. Otherwise, I will be looking too idiotic. Idiotic. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little bit acidic and uh, it's not earthy, although it's a fresh tea from, um, from nature, but uh, there is not this tea tea flavor that uh, a little bit uh, amer, bitter. No, this is fruit and, um, <clears throat> and ribus. You feel from the trunk of the ruibus, not trunk, the ruibus, little, uh, very thin, uh, very thin stems cha -cha -cha, cut out, and the acidity from, from that. And the hot temperature really brings all the flavor to life. I think I have added enough adjective instead of uh, on top of beautiful. <laughs> okay, all of math homework. So question number, I think this is question number six. Okay, question number six. I will copy the problem one minus half plus a third minus a fourth plus a fifth minus a sixth plus seventh minus eighth plus until plus one thirteenth. So what do we see? <clears throat> one over one, one over three, one over five, one over seven. These are the positive. One over two is negative, 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 negative. So, <clears throat> and this is one over one over two over three. So what do we see? We see... <clears throat> It must be negative 1 to the power of a certain number. And uh, the number is n over 1. The first item, the first term is positive. So first term is positive. If this is 1, this is negative 1. So add 1, it becomes positive, the first term. And the first term, n, is, is 1. And the second term, let's say, a1 equal to negative 1 to the power of 1 plus 1 is 2 times 1 over 1 is positive 1. <clears throat> 
we are right. A2 equal to <coughs> negative to the power of 2 plus 1 and 2 over 1 equal to negative, we are right. And the third one, negative 1 to the power of 3 plus 1, 3 over 1, positive 1 over 3. So this is right. And the sum is... The sum of the expression is negative 1 to the power of n plus 1 times 1 over n. And um, starting from the first, n equal to 1 until 13 until 13 and that is the expression okay okay hello dear friends let's keep on do this homework this is page three eight three eight and the teacher asks us to write down the first five terms Sometimes you think why the teacher is so lazy. He is curious about this uh, this uh, five terms. Then you write it down, right? But he does not write it down. They ask us to do. What can we do? So a one. A1 equal to one plus three, one plus two equal to negative four over three. A2 equal to Concept six over five a four positive seven six a five eight negative eight and seven okay. and then <coughs> so Nothing much you can do unless you become school principal. Your job, you will revenge the teacher and ask a teacher to do all these jobs for you, right?
Okay, question number three, a one equal to three, a n equal to two over three, a n minus one. So we know a is three. The first term is three, and uh, a uh, the rate of change from the the number to the previous number, the difference is uh, uh, two uh, two over three. So r is two over three. So we can put in the formula a n equal to a times r to the power of n minus one. So a one a is three. We know r is this I do not need to write it down. A one is three, A two because um, when this is one, any number to the power of uh, zero is one. Three times three over two equal to two, A three equal to three times. Um, Where a four three times two over three a five three times two over three to the power of four so three four nine eight. Twenty seven, and this is sixteen. Okay, so this question I kind of cannot see the the relationship. I will just write down a one is two, a two is two minus a one. A three is two minus A two. A four is two minus A three. A five is two minus A four. Right. So this is the formula. A one is uh, two, and A two is two minus two equal to two minus two equal to zero. A three minus A two is zero. Equal to two minus zero is two. A four is a three is two. Two minus two is zero, and a five is two minus a four. A four is zero. Two minus zero is two. So the result is two zero 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 two zero. Okay, this one, question number five, the teacher wants us to write out totally four terms, k equal to one, four k plus two, so k, the series of these, k equal to one, uh, so a one equal to four plus two equal to six. A two equal to four times two plus two equal to ten. A three equal to four times three plus two equal to fourteen. A four equal to Eight times four plus two equal to eighteen. So six, ten, fourteen, eighteen. That is the result. So we got this one, and they are asking for the sum. So sum of k equal to one until four terms is six plus ten plus. 14 plus 18, 
10, 20, 30, 48 equal to 48, and that is the result. That is the final result.